Look right there. That's a bomb. Hey, what's up everybody? I am back with another video. I know it's dark out. I hope you can see me in this truck. But we're doing something a little different today. We are going to do some salt water smelting. Basically what we're going to do, because I've heard they're running, we're going to take a net, go down to the river that runs into the salt water, and we're going to run the net up the stream and hopefully we get some smelts. We're able to keep a quart, so I got some quart bags with me and uh, if we do get some, we'll do a catching cook. Got a couple friends that are going as well, so we can have up to three quarts. This is gonna be a blast, so don't go anywhere. Let's have some fun. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hey, everybody, this is Franklin. Good boy. <laughs> he is gonna be famous. Just kidding. Maybe not famous. He's already famous. Hey everybody, that's the goobs. Hey Gooba. Say hi buddy. <laughs> He's excited to catch some smells. See everybody, that's a healthy dog right there. He's eating a carrot. Good boy. Is that a carrot you're eating? That I won't even eat my vegetables, but this dog will. Good boy. Can I have a piece of this carrot? No, I'm just kidding. You can have that. <laughs> Look at this dog. This is the healthiest dog I've ever seen. I can't even eat, get my dog to eat vegetables. Here, take it. That's right, Franklin. You're just training for that summer bod, are you? I know. Winter's over. Spring's coming. You gotta get that summer bod back, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so we are walking down let me grab my flashlight hold on here it's like 10 30 almost 11 right now so hopefully there's something down here what do you think master goob uh there's a lot of water <laughs> oh. oh those are a little small Here, well, did you see that? Yep, to the left. Yep, there's one right there. Here's an Alver. Alvers is just these little baby eels. That's a smell right there. There's a ton of Alvers in here. Look at them all. There's a bunch of Alvers in here right now, huh? Hey, what's up everybody? So, we're going to try again with this whole smelting thing. This time, we're going with the same people we went with last time, Goob and his girlfriend Jordan, and we are going with the owner of Game Ticks. I'm super excited. Let's get into some salt water smelt. Heck yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I don't know if you can see me or not, but we're at the spot that we're gonna try here. Everybody say hi to John Gibbs. Hey there. This is uh, the owner of Game Ticks. He's the one who brought us here. We're gonna see if we can get some smells, so hang tight. I just saw one. Oh, this is good, this one. Let's see. Oh, right there. Wait, you, I just... I literally stood there. I literally stood there. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't go in the water. I literally stood there. I was like, I think I'm slipping. <laughs> 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 oh, it's all good. This is probably a good reason why I have a towel in my truck. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, fell in the river, and I am soaked and covered in mud, and I don't care. This is fun. You get another one, John? Yeah. There we go. A couple 
more. Look at that. That's so cool. <laughs> what do you think, John? Perfect. Yeah. Right there is a salt, salt water smell. Beautiful looking thing. So we're back. It is the next day when we got home. It was like two in the morning. So I decided to just go to bed and to uh, cook up some smelts today for a little appetizer before we have dinner. So I'm just going to show you how I prep them. I'm not going to show you how I clean them or anything. Just because, you know, gutting out fish and all that kind of stuff, it, it is what it is. <laughs> I'm not going to show you all that, but um, I am going to clean them, and I'm going to show you what I do with them. All right, everybody. So this right here is a saltwater smelt. It's about, I don't know, six or so inches long. I don't know if you all can see it, but they actually have quite a bit of coloration on them. Like, that's like a shiny green color. So what I do is that I cut the head off. I cut up the belly. I did find out that if you pinch the head and pull, I guess the belly comes out with it. I've just never done it that way. I might try that today. And um, then you roll them in what I do is I roll them in pancake batter. Not batter, sorry, roll them in pancake mix. And then I fry them in peanut oil. So that's what we're gonna do. And there you go, whole plate of cleaned out smelts. There's about probably eight there, so we're gonna just cook up a few and I'm gonna put the rest in the fridge. All right, so I actually ran out of peanut oil, so I'm just gonna use this. Um, it's just vegetable oil, it should be all right. I think that's what most people use. I just like using peanut oil or coconut oil. Then what I got here, it's just a buttermilk pancake mix, and I don't throw egg or anything on these. I just put them in just like that, cover them as such. Do that, cover them, and then you've got whole smelt like that. All right, one way to tell if that's ready, just kind of throw a little of your mix in there. Looks like it's ready to me. I'm gonna take that whole fish, just like that. Once those start browning on one side, just go ahead and flip them. Smell delicious. Hey, D boy. Good boy. That's old Dexter Dutch right there. You good boy, yeah. Yeah. Hey, Hunter, what are you doing? <laughs> good boy. Yeah, you're getting old, but you're still cute. You guys excited for smells? Huh? We know you guys aren't going to eat any of them. Still excited, though. I know. <laughs> All right, everybody. Woohoo! Let's see if I can show you without dumping these out. Look at those. So if I were to just stick my fork in here now, just so you can see, look at all that flaky meat. So I'll show you what I do because these ribs they uh, cook right up, so you won't even taste them. But look at that. Smells have got to be one of my favorite, besides a trout, obviously, but. Oh, yeah, that's delicious. Look at that. Those of you who've never tried smelts before, I uh, encourage you to try them. They are absolutely delicious. And when they're running, there's nothing better than a fresh smell. Oh, 
take that back. Nothing better than a fresh brook trout, but um, smells are a close second. And the can pancake batter gives makes them a little bit sweet. Uh, puts a good crisp on them and. Thank you all so much for joining me on this smelting trip. I hope I got some good footage. Um, I need a longer net, a longer handled net to go smelt next time. There's a lot of rules regarding smelting. Try to, st try to stay out of the river um, because they're so thick, you don't want to step on them, anything like that. Um, you can only keep a quart of them, which I'm perfectly okay with. Uh, so there's rules regarding smelting, but when you do get them, they're absolutely delicious, totally worth it. Like I said before, thank you for joining me. Thank you for supporting me on my channel, buying the merch. It's, uh, it's, um, it's well appreciated, so thank you so much. And until next time.